They did a study on each one of these foods years ago. Jewish doctors in Israel did a study and found that these foods fight cancer and heart disease and diabetes. If you put these foods into your diet, you can prevent heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. Jan Crouch, my good friend Jan Crouch, when she was living, uh, had cancer, and she went completely organic, totally organic. That cancer was gone out of her body and lived a healthy life. You know, we all need to pray, but we all need to do what's right for, for, for our bodies. So I want you every day to start doing this. Get a little olive oil, unfiltered. Start your day by doing this. Watch me, I'm doing it right now. This has never happened before, guys. This is like history, okay? Mmm. It is good. It is so good. I'm having two of them. This is really good. Why don't you do that after I'm done today? Mmm. 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 Wow. Double, triple, wow. All right. Good stuff. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to another beautiful and informative video on this channel. Thank you so much uh, for subscribing and also please watch this video to the very end. I promise you it will uh, inform you. It will uh, give you amazing tips on how to live a healthy life. So remember, uh, every person has a responsibility to take care of their health. Everyone has a responsibility or rather ought to be good stewards of their health. They need to control the quality of the food they take. They need to take control of the quantity of the food they take. Every individual needs to set time to exercise regularly, to sleep and to rest, which is very important. Uh, and also taking care of your general body, cleanliness and appearance. This is a responsibility that each person has over their life. So uh, Pastor Benny Hinn will be celebrating 50 years since he began ministry and he will be doing so in the month of December. And he has been sharing more about his personal life, where he began his ministry, what has brought him this far. And in this video, we look at what he shared about the foods that he ate. And he has mentioned of a Mediterranean diet and i want us to listen to what he has to share and then i'll come back with more reaction let's continue watching this video now i'll give you some things i've known over the years can help you with your health your strength and you know all that but let's look at deuteronomy 8 8 it says that well let me, let me just read begin reading at verse 7 for the lord thy god bringeth thee into a good land a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills. You know, it's really interesting. People focus on verse 8, which are the seven foods. But notice what it says in verse 7. Water. I think the first thing we need to increase in our intake is water. Because water helps us with with our digestive system, cleansing the body, God gave it to us. And we don't drink as much water, I'm gonna drink it right now, so as, as we say in, in Israel, lechaim. You know what lechaim means? To life. And trust me, there's life in this. Eight glasses of water a day, nice big long glasses every day is what you really need. Some of you may need more. So I think that the first advice I can give you, and I know you've heard that, increase the amount of water you drink. Now watch these amazing foods. A land of wheat and barley and vines, grapes that is, and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil, and honey. These are the seven foods mentioned 
in Deuteronomy 8.8. 8. I'm telling you, I'm giving you golden advice right now. Start eating these foods and drink lots of water. I was talking to a friend of mine in Israel one time. He told me something amazing about these foods. You know, Israelis eat Mediterranean. It's a Mediterranean diet. We, when we grew up, I'll tell you in just a second what this man told me, but let me just go back. When we grew up, my mom cooked vegetarian. Most Israelis today are vegetarian. We rarely eat meat. Meat is like a very small part of our diet. So when you talk about wheat and barley and vines and figs and pomegranate and olive oil and honey, that's really a vegetarian diet basically right here. So I think it's important that you do something every day. And that's what my friend told me. One teaspoon of olive oil every day because it cleans your arteries. Make sure the olive oil that you buy uh, is, is foggy. Make sure it's unfiltered. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something real quickly. Um, my wife and I eat Mediterranean a lot. And bring me some hummus too. I'm gonna to show, show them the benefits of hummus now. This olive oil, it says it's unfiltered. When you go to the store, look for two things with olive oil. Organic, unfiltered. It's a little more money, but think about how much money you will pay if you get sick for just medicine alone. So I want you to notice something. This is really good. You can actually drink it. It's, it's very foggy. It's very foggy. Look how foggy it is. I'm going to show you real quickly how foggy this olive oil is. This is the... Okay. You see how foggy that is? Look how foggy. If you can, if you can see through it, it's no good. If you can see through the olive oil bottle when you go to the store, it's no good. So make sure to, to change your diet this year to wheat and barley and grapes are great for you, by the way. Figs, even, even if you buy the packaged figs, can we show them? I think I have some. And, and let me just show you some of the, 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 you know, I don't plan on doing this, by the way. And give me just a little bread too, will you? This is all spontaneous, just for you, by the way. All spontaneous for my swan, wonderful partners. Ah, uh, this is really having a, goodness, it's, <laughs> it's tough getting this plastic off. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll keep, oh, there we go, I got it. Okay. Wow, these are beautiful uh, information that Pastor Ben Heaney is sharing with us. Uh, I think for him opening his house to us so that we can walk through what he eats, what he includes in his diet, so beautiful. Uh, and I think he shares very uh, important information that I think everyone uh, this far uh, at least is part of their life. Like for example, drinking water. If you don't drink water, I believe you're doing a huge disservice to yourself. Like personally, anytime someone tells me that they are unwell, the first question I always ask them is, have you drunk water? How often do you drink water? Because I think water is very important in our lives, helps in the digestion, excretion, helps uh, in cleansing our bodies. Uh, detoxification etc so he talks of the olive oil and it's something for me i think i will consider adding in my diet because when you look at the benefits of olive oil from it's it's an anti-cancer anti-oxidant anti-inflammatory uh, it helps in in improving the condition of our hearts uh, etc so these are things that i feel uh pastor ben Hingin is very generous sharing with us and he also you saw like him drinking that olive oil live in this video so let's engage at the comment section and let me know are these some of the food items you would consider adding in your uh menu let me know let's continue watching this video i've been living this for a long time 
okay? When, if you really wanna, wanna eat good, add these to your diet. The wheat, the barley, the vines, grapes, figs, pomegranate, and olive oil. But in the morning, every morning, start your morning with hummus, make sure it's organic, and some very thick, thick olive oil. This is great stuff, great stuff. So when you put it in, and I have organic here hummus, I'm gonna make you all hungry right now. When you put it in, you're helping your heart and your whole body. This gentleman not only told me in Israel that he takes one, and he's like in his 70s, mid 70s, you think he's in his 20s, that guy. A small teaspoon of olive oil every day, like by itself. Can you get me a, a sorry about that. I keep saying you, because I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna show him how good it tastes too. And this, this stuff, you can almost drink it. It tastes really nice. You know, some olive oils that you buy, forget it. But this is excellent. But every morning, start your day with hummus and olive oil. And then get yourselves boiled eggs. Don't fry them. Really bad for you. Get yourself some two eggs, boil them. And then with it, has, have, have some olives. Or make sure to eat organic. Okay, organic, it's been proven that it can keep you healthy. So, and then two eggs, or you can have one egg in the morning. With the hummus, put a little, some olives, and you may add, you know, a little feta cheese, it's all Mediterranean, and please, only organic. And I'll tell you why it's only organic, because your body cannot digest an organic bread. We buy this at, uh, at Publix. They can have, you can have organic bread, a little pita. And you know what, what's really fun? If you, uh, like, this will really keep you almost all day. You take those two eggs and you mash them all up. And you, and you uh, kind of put some olive oil and some za'atar. You know what za'atar is? Anybody knows? Okay, please. I didn't think I'd be doing all this. You can put some za'atar. Zatar is, is, is actually hyssop from the Bible. You know, it grows on, 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 on walls. So this would be the best breakfast you can have every day. And please eat twice a day. Don't eat three times a day. They have proven over and over that when you eat twice a day, you'll be, you'll be a lot healthier than eating three times a day. I've been eating twice a day now for, oh my Lord, 20 years or more. I don't eat three meals a day. I eat a late breakfast, more like a brunch, than I eat my dinner. So, you take this and you take this za'atar right there. You can get, you can get, you can get the za'atar anywhere, and it's Z-A-A-T-A-R. And this is uh, great for you. It's a cleanser for the body. So, two eggs, mesh them up, put some olive oil with them, put some za'atar with them. Don't put salt, just put this nice za'atar. You mix it up and eat it in a little sandwich like, like this. You will be having a feast and it's all Mediterranean. And don't forget the little hummus. In fact, I'm gonna shock you all and have a little hummus myself because this is good stuff. I've never done this actually on my dailies, but why not? There's always something, there's always a, a beginning, huh? And I make sure that the, that the olive oil is dripping on it. All right, here we go. Mm. Wunderbar. <laughs> what are you laughing for? All right, why don't you have some yourself, Chaddy? Thank you, sir. And have, have some bread. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm just having a great time with you already. Now, in, in, in addition, for your breakfast, will help you immensely, immensely. Get some um, pumpkin seed, get some yogurt, 
fat-free yogurt, organic, with pumpkin seed. Mix it together and eat that after you are done with your hummus, your two eggs and the sandwich, and then the, the nice yogurt, so good for you. And if you, you can look up, you would see the benefits. Pumpkin seed is one of the most potent against cancer. There was a lady that I heard about dying with cancer. She began eating pumpkin seed and the cancer left. Now, you know, it, that might have happened to a lot of people, but I looked up the benefits of pumpkin seed. I was amazed. And figs. Don't forget the figs. These are incredible for you. You can buy them at, at the store. And you see, I only buy organic. When they're, not in, when they're not in season, get them in packages. You can find them at health food stores or other stores. Now, your diet at night, evening meals. Don't touch meat. I'm going to tell you something. I've heard over and over and over. The redder the meat the more dangerous it is. The redder, the more dangerous. So if you're gonna eat meat, make sure at least it's well done, but, but reduce it way down. I come from the, from the East, and I told you, we didn't even hardly eat meat at all. Just we would put little bits and pieces only for taste, you know, with our rice and this and that. But today people like having steak and this and this. Well, okay, fine with it. but. I, I, I think they're making big mistakes by eating too much meat because meat is a cancer. There's a risk there because of the blood. God says don't eat the blood because that's what life and death is, by the way. Disease is in the blood too. So be careful what you're eating. Fish, but your fish cannot, please be careful with shellfish. I know some of you may get upset with me. No, I'm not being legalistic. I'm just being smart. So reduce your intake of shrimp and lobster and all that stuff. And go only for, for scales and fins, you know, and the Bible talks about scales and fins in, in fish from the ocean. Don't eat farmed unless you check what kind of farm it is. Some farms are good, some farms are not good when they, when they grow fish in farms. Salmon, incredible for the body. Absolutely, I, I have probably twice a week at least now, I have salmon, um, some chicken. I do eat chicken, but not a whole lot. I really, I enjoy fish, a lot of fish. But yes, if I need to eat chicken, of course I do, but I maybe like once a week. But then cook your own lentil soup. I'm telling you, lentil soup will keep you alive and healthy for a long time. It's so easy to make too, it's so easy to make. You can make it on YouTube, there's an old Italian lady, I think she's in her 90s, that can show you how to make Italian lentil soup. And it's so good. Would you believe it if I, if I tell you I even fix it myself? I don't like any, anyone to cook my lentil soup. I do it myself. And you can eat that lentil soup for a whole week, over and over, especially if you put some carrots and celery and potatoes in it and some parsley and some, you know, some people like to put some other things and, and some onions and you fix it cook it all together, you've got a healthy meal there. You could add some spinach. You can, you can eat that a whole week and stay healthy for your evening meal. Because your morning, eat like a king, you know, they say in the morning. At, in the evening, eat like a pauper. So don't eat a whole lot at night because it takes time to digest. Some of you won't be able to sleep if you eat too much. I wish above all things you prosper and be in health even as your soul. But God wants you to cooperate with him when it comes to food, the right food. Stay away from sugar, please. Completely stay away from sugar. Now, sugar in, in fruit is good. So you can have fruit after you, you finish your meal. Have, have some fruit because fruit helps you digest. But the best thing you can do for you for, dig for your digestion is quite simple. God-given water. The best thing you can do to digest your food is drink more water. And, and if there's one more thing I could give you that I think would really bless you greatly is learn how to sleep. And you can really sleep a whole lot easier 
if you read the Bible at night. So you can read the Bible in the morning to be, to be able to receive from the Lord. But if you read your Bibles at night, I promise you, you'll go to sleep a lot better, because I do. Hey, did you know that Pastor Benihin cooks? <laughs> I think people know him as a minister of the gospel, slaying people in the spirit. The many miracles he allegedly performed in his services, ETC, asking people for money to support his ministry. No one knew that when he got back home, he has his favorite meals, soup that he enjoyed preparing for himself, like that lentil soup that he just mentioned. And he mentions very important things that are important to keep you healthy. And this is sleeping enough, resting, also reduced intake of sugar. Health experts have warned against yeah, taking processed sugars. They are not good for our health. Uh, drinking enough water. In the seven foods that he has read from the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8, um, we need to be very intentional in taking care of our health. I believe that uh, God gave us everything that we need uh, to remain healthy. And uh, the food we eat determines whether we will fall sick or not. Uh, there are people in this world who hardly go to the hospital. Like you'll never hear them that they are sick. And it's not because they are special than you. It's just it's determined by the food that they eat. And uh, if we were intentional with what we eat, we can eliminate many of the illnesses that we find ourselves getting. So this video is an encouragement for each one of us to be intentional to ensure that uh, the food they are taking it's healthy, it's organic, no GMO foods, organic foods. You can even plant your own uh, garden for vegetables. Do it organically. It's for your own benefit. Uh, I always say you'd rather spend more money uh, on food other than spending more money on medicine. If you spend money to buy healthy food, you may never spend money buying medicine because you're sick. So God has a responsibility for each one of us. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been a blessing. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. See you in my next video.